Now, there are two heavyweights in the video editing world. You've got Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10, but which one is best for you? We're gonna find out in this video. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you know Editor's Keys, we make keyboard shortcuts for both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10. So we've got a lot of experience with both programs. Now, I actually started using Adobe Premiere back in 2001, before it even had Pro at the end of its name. And this is before YouTube was out as well. So I've been using it for quite some time. Now, I kind of went off editing when I started Editor's Keys and then came back to it and started using Final Cut Pro 10. So uh, Lewis here uses Premiere, I use Final Cut Pro, and we've got a lot of experience with both programs. So in this video, I wanna show you some of the pros and cons of each program, and some of the things you might like about one and not about the other. So we're gonna run through it now about all of the pros of Final Cut versus Adobe Premiere. So let's get into it. Okay, so number one is Mac or PC. Now this may seem like a simple question, but if you're on a PC, then unfortunately you have no way of using Final Cut Pro 10 because it's a Mac only program. So that's the end of the video for you. But if you're on a Mac, you can use either Premiere or Final Cut Pro 10. Now what I would say is if you're on a MacBook Pro or a low powered Mac, then Final Cut may be the option for you because it can run really, really well on MacBooks that don't have the graphics cards. They've uh, optimized, Apple have optimized this very, very well for all of the Macs. And you can even do some 4K editing even on the most basic of MacBooks and MacBook Pros. Um, if you have got a graphics card, maybe you're using the 16 inch MacBook Pros or the desktop uh, iMacs or PCs, then Premiere is a very, very good option if you have a graphics card. It's an absolute beast when you have the right graphics card. So just think about whether you're Mac or PC and what computer you have at your disposal. So number two is commitment and workflow. Now, what do I mean by commitment? Well, if you're studying video editing or media production and you want to get into the industry and you haven't yet chosen Final Cut or Premiere, I think I would recommend starting with Premiere. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, Premiere is actually more widely used than Final Cut. And if you end up getting a job in a post-production facility that uses PCs, then they're definitely not gonna be using Final Cut Pro. And also, if you start with Premiere and you go to a production facility, they're likely to be either using Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci, or Media Composer. And if you start with Premiere Pro, it's easier to jump to Media Composer or DaVinci Resolve than I think it is for Final Cut users to jump into any of those three. So something to bear in mind. Now, when we look at workflow, um, this is something to consider if you want to use Photoshop, After Effects, maybe Adobe Audition. Of course, Premiere is made by Adobe, so all of these programs come with the Creative Cloud and they also work much better together than they will with Final Cut. Now, don't get me wrong, you can still import PSDs and Photoshop files you know, quite easily into Final Cut and they work quite well. But I think, you know, if you're really getting into one ecosystem, it's best to stay within that system because you'll find that the other programs will work in a similar manner and that's very easy to use. Now, Apple has Motion and a few other programs up its sleeve. Uh, so, you know, it's worth looking at. So think about your commitment and your workflow. Number three is timeline. Now, the timeline is the section of the video editing program where you'll be actually doing most of your editing, and this is where your videos come together. Now, a lot of people ask me, which one makes your videos better? And you know what? They both will not improve a turd of a video. If your video is rubbish, neither program is gonna make your videos any better. You know, they give you the tools to edit your videos together, so it's up to you to film the right shots and get the right story, but they do work a little bit differently. So Final Cut has something called the magnetic timeline. And what this means is when you're editing within Final Cut, if you pop a clip out of the timeline, all of the other clips will sort of connect together with a magnet. And it makes it very simple to edit because everything is always in time, everything is always sort of connected together, you won't have any blank spaces when you come to export. But this does frustrate some long-term video editors because when you take a clip out, everything moves over and this may upset your timing. If you've got music and sound effects in certain places, these will 
these will all move. Now there are position tools and other ways you can get around this, but this is something to keep in mind if you are already used to some other editing programs out there. Now Premiere's timeline works a little bit differently. Once you have all of your clips in the timeline, they stay in their own place. So if you have say maybe three or four clips and you pull one out, the other three will stay in place. And a lot of people really do like that. I remember when I moved from Premiere to Final Cut, I really hated the magnetic timeline. You know, it seems quite easy, but then you end up building a timeline pulling something out and then you realize everything is out of time. Now I've got around to using this and now I love the magnetic timeline in Final Cut, but it's worth just keeping an eye on how these timelines work because you may already have a preference in your mind about which one works best for you. Next up, number four is plugins. A lot of people like to know that they can pull more uh, looks, effects, title packs, that kind of thing into their video editing programs because programs like iMovie don't allow you to do this. So the good news is that both Final Cut and Premiere have tons of websites that offer plugins and tutorials. There's a couple we recommend, Motion VFX, Pixel Film Studios, and Avato Elements. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can download plugins for both Final Cut and Premiere. And to be honest, they both work in very, very similar ways. I wouldn't say there's any advantage to either of those. It's a tie on this one. Number five is speed. Now, if you're gonna be spending a lot of time sitting at your laptop or desktop editing, you want the fastest editing program available. But this really depends on so many factors. So what I would start with is what do you already have? What are you planning on using for video editing? If you've got a 13 inch MacBook like I have here, or maybe an older MacBook Pro, I probably would recommend Final Cut Pro 10 because it has been optimized for all of the Mac laptops out there. And I found in my own experience, if I'm working with 4K files, they can run pretty smoothly on my 13 inch MacBook Pro. But if I use Adobe Premiere, because this doesn't have a good graphics card in it, it kind of chugs along and it is very slow. You will see some dropped frames. Uh, on the other hand, Premiere, as I've mentioned before, is extremely good if you have an iMac, or a desktop, or even the latest 16 inch MacBook Pros because it really takes advantage of the graphics card options. Also, if you're on a PC, um, you can upgrade your graphics card at any time and Adobe usually has great support for a whole host of graphics cards. So it really depends where you're at or where you wanna be with your system for the speeds. Also, what we're gonna do is an export test. So we're gonna pull a few 4K clips onto a timeline, the exact same clips in Final Cut and in Premiere, and we'll show you which one exported the fastest. So we're gonna do a quick non-scientific test to see which can export the fastest. We've got a 4K timeline here in 25 frames per second. We've done the editing, we've added titles, and we've added an adjustment layer with our own LUTs on top. And what we wanna do is export this in 4K in H.264 in high quality for YouTube. So let's see what exports the fastest. Premiere exported in 12 minutes and 21 seconds. Final Cut Pro 10 exported in five minutes and nine seconds. That means it's over twice as fast as Premiere Pro in this test. Now, number six is a short one, simplicity. Which one looks the nicest? I think this is really up to you. I quite like the clean look of Final Cut Pro, and if you're coming from iMovie, it will look very, very familiar. Now, if you've used other Adobe apps like Photoshop, After Effects, maybe Adobe Audition, I think you may prefer the look of Adobe Premiere because it will look very familiar to you. But this one, it's really up to you. Number seven, what are you using it for? I think if you're trying to build up a big team of editors, maybe you've got your own post-production company that you wanna start up, or you're planning on getting into the industry, I think I would recommend Premiere. It seems to have better tools for collaborating with other users. You know, there are some basic tools you can get and plugins you can get for Final Cut, but I really think Premiere has this one because they've been doing it 
for a much longer time. So if you're planning on working with teams, if you're planning on uh, having a group or if you run a production company, maybe go for Adobe Premiere. You can also create a license that you can cover in your business. So if you have a new editor come in for a couple of months, you can simply pay for a license for two months for that person. So it's much easier to add and remove seats for Adobe Premiere. Now, if you're editing on your own or you want to start your own production company and you just want everyone to be on the same system, Final Cut is a great option because we're going to talk about price in the next step. But it's very, very simple to use. Uh, the plugins are easy to, to work and there's just the one off cost. So maybe I think if you're doing weddings, if you're doing YouTube, I would probably recommend Final Cut because it's much easier to edit together, the speed is there, and the export settings are much, much more simple in Final Cut. You can just simply export to YouTube and it's very, very easy. Premiere has much more advanced options, which is great if you are thinking of doing broadcast shows, if you are thinking of collaborating. So that's one to think about. Now, the last one is price, and this is a big factor for some people. So first of all, let's look at Adobe Premiere. Premiere, you can buy as a standalone app and it costs around 20 pounds or $20 a month or you can get the entire Creative Cloud suite that has Photoshop, Adobe Audition, After Effects, Illustrator, all of the programs for around 50 pounds or $50. So there's some sort of pros and cons about this. The, the pro is that it's barrier to entry is quite low because you can just pay on a monthly basis it's good for your cash flow. If you're getting monthly jobs in, it keeps that price low for you on a monthly basis. It also means you can get a discount if you're thinking of using the other programs. You know, I use Adobe Audition for when we record podcasts and audio things. I use Photoshop for doing our YouTube thumbnails. So um, I have an Adobe Creative Cloud license and it works out quite cheap per program. And of course, if you want to just have that one program, Premiere, you can get it for 20. Now, the problem with this is that the payments never end. So if you were to use the whole Creative Cloud for maybe two years, it would cost you around $1,200 or £1,200 to have that running for two years. Now, Final Cut is a one-off payment and it costs £299 here in the UK or around $300 in the US. So it's a bigger upfront cost, which for some people may be a problem if you're starting out, but it does mean that you kind of pay off the software much quicker and there's no ongoing monthly costs. There's no upgrade fees when Final Cut release a new version. So if you are worried about the long-term costs, maybe consider Final Cut. If you're looking for cash flow or if you are starting a production company, maybe think about Adobe Premiere. So there we go, there are so many factors to consider when deciding between Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro. Which one do you think you're going to go for? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you've got any more specific questions you wanna ask me, leave those as I promise we do get back to every single one. And then when you've made your choice between Premiere or Final Cut, check out all the playlists we have on the channel because we've got a ton of Final Cut tutorials, a ton of Premiere tutorials, and we're always adding to them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.